Hello everyone. Uh, today we will continue our uh, special valves in HVAC and their functions. And today will be part two of this uh, function uh, valve special valves. We will talk about uh, DPCVs, which is differential uh, pressure control valve. We will talk about uh, definition. Then we will uh, have uh, uh, to talk about the applications. So let's begin. We will talk about definition of DPCV, variable flow system use DPCV and finally we will talk about where we have to use this DPCV including FCU, AHU, uh, plate heat exchangers, chillers and chill beams. What is a DPCV? Differential pressure control valves commonly called DPCVs are installed in heating or cooling systems uh, to control sub-circuit pressure to a set or given maximum. DPCV range include three different types. A type with preset delta PC differential pressure across the circuit, a type with adjustable delta PC, and finally, a type be being a combined dynamic balancing valve and adjustable DPCV. They offer a flexible range meeting any system demand. Why choose a DPCV? With a DPCV installed in your system, you will achieve reduced energy consumption, avoid the risk of annoying noise, and have a simple commissioning process. How does a DPCV work? A DPCV includes a diaphragm, a spring, and a capillary tube, a capillary tube connecting the partner valve in the supply by pipe and the DPCV valve in the return pipe to control the circuit pressure loss. Delta P control the DPCV diaphragm will regulate the control delta PC depending on pressure impulse for uh, from the supply side and direct pressure from the return side. The, sp the spring force will equal the delta PC. In all DPCVs, the diaphragm will be a rolling diaphragm which will res uh, result in a very compact valve design. Depending on a dif the differential pressure control valve selected, delta PC may be fixed or externally adjustable. Differential pressure control valves ranges. The differential pressure control valve, a self-acting control valve designed to absorb unwanted head pressure specifically aimed at optimized system performance. Extremely efficient, the DPCV is set to a maximum differential pressure which ensures flow cannot exceed a desired rate. It therefore helps reduce energy consumption, the risk of noise and simplified simplifies the commissioning process. Ranges of DPCVs include EDP adjustable differential pressure controller from half to two inch maximum operational delta P is 500 kilopascal which is 72 PSID. DP adjustable differential pressure controller from two and a half inch to six inch. Maximum operational delta P, 400 kilopascal, which is 58 PSID. SDP preset, differential pressure controller, from half to one inch. Maximum operational uh, delta P is 500 kilopascal, which is 72 PSID. ADP integrated, Differential pressure control valve and differential pressure controller combined PICV and DPCV from half to one inch. Delta P is 500 kilopascal D. Differential pressure partner valves. We have quick, uh, quick disc SDP or EDP. We have ball SDP, EDP and ADP. And globe DP. In installation, there are typically two configurations. Downstream connection, the DPCV regulates the load differential pressure only. In 
this case, the DPCV is regulating the load delta P. That means the delta P for the DPCV is equal to delta P load, which is uh, consequently or typically is delta P A. Upstream connection, the DPCV regulates the load differential pressure plus the partner valve pressure loss. And this system can be used, for example, if there is no preset TRV valve. In this case, the delta P this, uh, CV equal to delta PL plus delta P PV. Setting the valve, there are typically two methods for setting the valve flow measurement which is the uh, second configuration what we see in, uh, in the previous slide which is related to the flow of the regulating valve second differential pressure measurement which is the first uh, configuration in the previous slide which is related to the delta P uh, for the load by default factory setting is 10 to uh, 30 kilopascal for this version of the valve to set the spring force to any other setting turn the only key counterclockwise till the end point is reached down to position 0 and the spring is completely loosened from this point turn the allen key clockwise the number of turns that will given in the required delta P setting according to the table hereafter. Note the black knob cannot be used to set the differential pressure or the flow. It must be used only for valve in isolation as on off function. Here is the, tab the table what we are using for the setting. Where we have to use the DPCV, what are the applications, functions, benefits, and considerations? We can use them on the air handling units, uh, chill beam, chiller, fan coal units, and plate heat exchangers. So first we have a fan coal unit, DPCV control, the function. The room temperature is controlled by the two-port valve on each FCU. The balance of the system is handled by the flow setting of the dynamic valves, balancing valves. So as we see here, this is the DPCV and this is the capillary tube connected to the balancing valve, which is taking the signal from the balancing valve or DRV of the circuit. Thus, it will modulate the differential pressure to be constant on 120 kilopascal differential pressure in the circuit. Main differential pressure will be constant by the DPCV. On the other hand, there is two-port valve, which is taking the signal from the room temperature sensor. Thus, it will increase the flow uh, or decrease the flow. This actually will create uh, a differential or fluctuating the pressure in the in this line in the line of the balancing valve thus it will give the signal through the capillary tube to the DPCV to modulate the main differential pressure to keep it constant and the flow will be consistent in the FCU and thus maintaining the differential pressure in the circuit on 120 kilopascal a DPCV controlling the differential pressure at every riser limits the DPE between 15 to 70 kilopascal, which is the DPE range for the dynamic regulating valves. The flow at the individual risers is automatically limited at balanced by the dynamic regulating valves regardless of outside pressure fluctuations. Benefits Direct flow setting on each FCU ensures full balance and flow limitation in the system, provide optimal modulation for the regulating valves. All sections will have a defined DP available with the correct dynamic regulating valve 
flow setting, the flow will be controlled in every part of the system by DPCV. Considerations. The DP available at the dynamic regulating valves must be within 15 to 70 kilopascal. Here is the circuit for uh, this type of the DPCV in the fan coil units. Here, this is the DPCV and this is the metering station which is including the two-way port plus the FCU. This is another uh, circuit. This is the main main line. We are fixing the DPCV. And here the branch lines, which has two FCUs. Uh, and this is two port valve. And this is regulating valve. Air handling unit with DPCV function. The air temperature of the air handling unit is controlled by a sensor in the outlet. When the control system calls for higher or lower temperature on the air outlet, the DPCV opens or closes to provide constant differential pressure in the controlled part of the system, as well as to ensure the option of limiting the maximum flow. Benefits Precise temperature control in air handling unit when temperature have to be kept within close limits like in ventilation plants control may be difficult if the differential pressure is in the system is not constant this may this may be overcome by installing a dpcv which stabilizes the differential pressures across the motorized valves as a result the motorized valve react only on temperature signals and not on pressure fluctuations. Considerations Follow CPC, bus rear and HVAC guidelines. Particular care should be taken with regards to accessibility to valve for setting adjustment. DPCVs can be installed in either the flow or return pipe work but it is important to check version before installing valves must be installed in pipe work of the same nominal diameter the dpcv should be isolated along with the two port control valve and the terminal unit whilst flushing the system except when final reverse flushing is carried out here is the circuit of the AHU uh, with the DPCV. DPCV can be installed in two configurations, partner valve inside the control loop or partner valve outside the control loop. The first config configuration is suitable for the plants where there are balancing valves for the regulation of the maximum flow rates or thermostatic valves with presetting. In this way, the generic regulating valve is used, is used to regulate the pressure drop across the DPCV. By closing the partner valve, the pressure across the DPCV decreases and the shutter opens. In the other way, by opening the partner valve, the pressure across the DPCV increases and the shutter closes. This configuration does not permit to regulate the total flow rate in the branch. This installation has the best performance in terms of control of the pressure and energy saving. If a ART 28 DP is used, it is possible to measure the flow rate using a differential pressure instrument. The other configuration is suitable for plant where there are not devices for the limitation and regulation of the flow rates in each uh, emitters. The, part, the partner valve is used to set the total flow rate in the branch. If a generic regulation a regulating valve is used, it is possible to measure the flow rate using a differential pressure instrument. Plate heat exchangers with DPCV control function the primary function of the DPCV is to control 
the water inlet temperature on the secondary side. To secure the water outlet temperature on the primary side, a DRV with sensor is placed here. The differential pressure is stabilized in every section of the system. By providing a stable working condition, the motorized valve reacts only on the temperature signal and does not have to compensate for pressure fluctuations. Benefits Maintain a constant differential pressure across the motorized valve. Return temperature on the primary side is secured. Secondary pump is switched off when no demand. Considerations Minimum differential pressure required for the DPCV must be available at design flow. And this is the circuit for the uh, uh, DPCV for heat exchanger. Chillers with DPCV control. Function Very much efficient, the DPCV is set to maximum differential pressure that ensures flow cannot exceed the desired rate. A differential pressure control valve ensures a constant differential pressure across a hydronic system with a variable flow. Benefits Energy savings due to the removal of overflows in the pipes and homogeneous temperature returns. Expandable re systems without new commissioning. The DPCV valves are recommended for ensuring pressure independent zones. The benefit is to offer the possibility of easily creating new zones without updating the whole system. The control valves always work at their best authority. When the control valves force uh, the system to work at partial loads (TRVs), there is no impact in the, on the differential pressure of the other zones. Reduction of the noise in the installation by not exceeding the required differential pressure. Considerations: Choose the method of VSD control carefully. Pick a couple of remote points in the system and install differential pressure sensors between supply and return. Modulate the VSD to satisfy the differential set points of each of the zones. Here is the schematic for this case. Chilled beam with DPCV control. Function. The room temperature is controlled by a controller connected to the DPCV actuator. The control can either be modulating or on-off depending on the system layout. On-off control is often selected on passive chilled beam to avoid laminar flow, which lowers the cooling transfer from the water to the coil. An adjustable spring-loaded valve spindle is connected to the diaphragm choosing Closing the valve when differential pressure rises and opening it as differential pressure falls. Benefits The DPCV effectively isolates the sub-circuit from variations in the main system pressure and is a widely applied solution. This arrangement is particularly useful where there are likely to be very low flow rates or where there is a high differential pressure across the main distribution flow and return pipe work. Considerations A metering station can be placed on the branch if additional flow verification is required by the witness authority. The index valve uh, will in applications such as this with identical design and coil performance be the one furthest from the pump but it can be elsewhere in the other layouts and this is the schematic for this case